time concentration. And I don't need the time concentration now. And I don't need um, the other formula. I just need you to understand what I want to do here right now. Amen. Now, in prayer progression, we have the body, we have the soul, and we have the what? The spirit. Most of the time, what happens in prayer is that we give up in the place of prayer. We don't actually get to the end of praying. You know, the, the, the lengthiness in prayer helps your soul. It helps your soul to be quiet. Amen. If you pray long, it will help your soul to be quiet. Your soul could be very loud, very loud. It could be very loud in the place of prayer. So now, in praying, you need what? Your body, your soul, and the spirit. Now, these three components must be active to ensure that your praying is done effectively. Praise God. Now, you cannot actually communicate in the soul if you don't have a body. Amen. There's no communication in the dead land Eh? If you don't have a physical body component, the pen you are using to write now is a typical example of component because it has different section inside. Praise God. You have the body of the pen. You have another body, which is the ink. Then you have the ink now, which I will call the spirit. Praise God. I can call that other outer part the body. I will call that other inner part the soul. And I will call that thing that makes the pen to function what? The spirit. If your ink finishes, your barrel is useless, isn't it? Hallelujah. So now in this body, that was why I read 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. Paul speaking says, I will ensure but I bring my body under subjection, least the problem will begin if this man is not brought under what? subjection and for this man to be brought under subjection it has to do with what they call intense discipline in fact intentional what discipline you cannot achieve the body without discipline there's no how you can subject your body without being what self-discipline the spirit does not help you discipline this man it is you you that helps you discipline you if you are waiting for the spirit, this man will never grow. This man likes freedom. This body likes, it likes freedom. That is why you can watch season movies from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. You will not even know time has gone. You only discover that the weather has changed. You say, ah, wow, this is 6 p.m. You were lost in time. You know why? Because the movie, every episode in that movie and every chapter, gives you a message that wants to keep you to the end. Amen. So what seldomly happens in the place of prayer, why we lose prayer, is because we don't have an expectation for the end. Amen. There's no expectation in us for the end. We just know that, let me just go and pray. And once I'm done praying, now you have just done what? Discipline your body. That is part of discipline. To build a powerful prayer life, you must have a consistency in the place of discipline. I will not say in the place of prayer, in the place of discipline because prayer, and prayer too falls under what? Under discipline. Amen. So the body is very important. This body you are seeing is why you know that I'm judged because this body is hosting something that is inside but it's making me walk. Hallelujah. So just stay with me. And if there's one thing we know about the body, is what? Weakness. Right? The body is always weak. And when you try to pray most of the time, what the devil ministers to you is that, at least just lie down a little. Amen. You know, you are pacing, you are pacing, and the devil just whispers a little. He said, this prayer, you will connect more if you can lie down. He said, just lie down. That's your altar. Hold it tight. So you, to you, that's a good suggestion. You just, you just bowed and then you held it. That holding was the 4 p.m., uh, 4 a.m. the next day. And the 4 a.m., your alarm woke you up, but you know how to, you know. You know the technology of turning off the alarm whilst it's sleeping. 
So you, you just close your eye and you turn it off. And the next time you wake up is 7 a.m. And you stand up and say, thank you, Holy Spirit. And you pour water on your body. Praise God. That's what most of us do. Hallelujah. Those people that pray a lot, can, they can testify to that. Four hours and all of a sudden, a little voice just told you, just sit. Take down your pillow. Sit on it and that's all. And that single adjustment took you out of the spirit. Hallelujah. So there's weakness in this flesh. If you don't subject it to control you. Amen. Now, there's no greater weakness here. If you can overcome the body by taking yourself to the place of prayer, thank God that's number one solution, that you have come to the place of prayer. Now, the soul now is the highest, the highest point of distraction in a man's body. See, the loudest place in a man is his, is his soul. Is his soul. The soul has a voice. The voice of the soul can silence a man for you can stay in prayer for four hours and not hear God. Amen. And great be your disadvantage if you are advanced in life. When I mean advanced, you are married. Amen. You have children. You are paying house rent. I don't mean that you are a child now, staying under your parents. You know, I, I don't mean that one. You have a little distraction, but greater is your disadvantage. If you are married, you have children, you have house rent, you have things to pay for. Now, in that, that man, before that man connects, the time that man will take to connect in prayer, a single man who is not married and have kids can connect faster. Because as that man is pacing, Jesus, as he's saying the Jesus, something told him that the student's school fees have not been paid. Jesus, something tells him that there's no water in the kitchen. Oh my God. Something tells him that your mother-in-law called you yesterday. Your landlord is expecting a rent. And that man will say, Jesus, for two hours, there's no other prayer point. And if it's not a disciplined man, you say, thank you, Lord, for answering. Because the thought level of the one has sunk the man. So most of us get sinked here. Praise God. Now, the battle in the soul, somebody open to Psalm 62, verse 5. Read Psalm 62, verse 5 for me. Psalm 62 verse 5. Just read it quickly. Psalm 62 verse 5. We are Bible students now. We should be quick. Please, I want you to keep amplified so that you will hear what you just read. Another person, 1 Corinthians chapter um, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Psalm 62, verse 5. Psalm 62, verse 5. My soul waits only upon God and silently submits to Him. For my hope and expectation are from Him. I like that word, silently do what? Submit to what? To him. to him. What silently submit to him? Is it the body? Is the soul? Because this body has nothing to offer. What has a lot of things to distract you out of prayer is what? The soul. So he said, my soul will wait patiently and I will submit my soul, my, my soul. Everything about me I'll submit it to the Lord. Amen. So I've established one thing about the so being too noisy. Two. Second Corinthians chapter ten and five. Second Corinthians chapter ten verse five amplified. Inasmuch as we refute arguments and theories and reasonings and every proud and lofty thing that sets itself up against the true knowledge of God, and we lead every thought and purpose away captive into the obedience. Of Christ, the Messiah, the anointed. Please give me um, King James. That that passage just took me off so many things. <laughs> give me King James. King James. He says, casting down Thank imaginations. You, casting down imaginations, imaginations and every high thing. And every high thing that exalted itself. 
that exalted itself against the knowledge of against God. the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity and bringing into captivity every thought every thought to the obedience of to Christ. the obedience of Christ the two vital things I want to pick up from that scripture is one imaginations two evil thought every thought praise God now that takes place where in this soul as you are praying now as you are speaking in tongues as you are casting out, we are talking about prayer progression. Now we have led up prayer. We have um, while yet, let me just pick it out how I wrote it. Now we have led up. The Bible said in Mark, uh, Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. It said that Jesus was led up into the wilderness. Now if you are led up by prayer, that is a good point to start from. Thank you sir, you can sit down. If you are being led up, you don't need struggle. Praise God. When you are led, you have less struggle. Because the Spirit have already given you what to pray about. Amen. So most of the time, believers become weak when they come on the led up. Some believers will tell you, I was not led. Now, if you keep on staying in the realm of being led, you might end up losing your prayer life. Because it's not always those prompting comes. Amen. There are sometimes you go to the place of prayer, there's no prompting in your spirit to pray. Hallelujah. So, but there's something else that is more than led up. If you have been led up, you don't need all this formation. You are already here. Praise God. You don't need to, you can beat body, beat soul once the spirit leads you. And how does it lead you? It can just lead you by a word. And the Lord said, let there be light. That word can drive you to the place of prayer. That is what? The spirit being led up. Bible said Jesus was led up into where? The wilderness. He didn't go there in his accord. So it was easy for everything that happened to be overcome. Because God had already led him into the wilderness. Most of the time we go to places God has not led us. And then the only formula you have is the led up formula. The led up formula doesn't sustain for long. It comes timely, by season. But it comes when revival wants to take place. The Lord begins to spontaneously the hearts of people with different promptings in their heart that they might come together in the last teaching we saw. When territories are to be saved, the heart of men begin to have the same signal. Now, that is the let up prayer. Hallelujah. And then we have...